Hi boys and girls, this is Kelly and Owen for Children's Moment today. Hopefully you're having a good week. Say hi Owen. Say hello. Hi. So can you tell the boys and girls what special day is coming up this weekend? Do you remember? What special day? Mother's Day! <gasps> Mother's Day! You did it! Yes, it's Mother's Day. So we are going to talk today about a mother's love. Do you remember saying to your mom, I love you this big? Do you say that? What do you say back to your mommy when she says it to you? Do you say, I love you this big? Whose is bigger, mine or yours? Both. <laughs> Probably mommy's are, um, because her arms are a little bit longer. But it's both. <laughs> Since Mother's Day is this weekend, I made a heart to show you how big a mom's love is. See that heart? So think of the heart in your chest and then think of this heart. A mommy's love for you and for you kids at home is so big. Okay? Moms are not perfect, yet some people say that nobody can love more than a mom can. What are some ways we know that our moms love us? Can you think of some ways? They show us love and think of that at home. How does a mommy show you that they love you? Maybe hugging you or giving you kisses. Maybe taking care of you when you're sick. Taking you to church or Bible school, Sunday school. Special surprises, singing with you. Taking you to Hershey Park. Does anyone love us more than a mom? Can you think? Who? Oh, yes, there is one that loves us more. It's God. He loves us even more than moms. Can you believe it? How can we know how much God loves us when we can't even see him? Hmm. One way is God loves us through our moms. When your mom does something loving for you, that's God doing it too. God is especially glad he made moms because while we're here on earth, it has given him a way to show his love for you. So he can show his love for us through our moms. But I just said God's love is bigger. Let me show you one way of looking at this. Jesus said in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. A lot of the times in the Bible, God and Jesus are referred to as the light. They light up our hearts when we accept Jesus as our savior. They light the way when we need to get out of a scary situation. They also shine on our moms, so they feel their love for us. I'm gonna do something with the mom's heart here, and we're going to shine God's light through it and see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna hold up this heart. We're gonna turn the lights up. Let's see what happens, boys and girls, when we hold this up and we shine the light through mommy's heart. Oh my goodness, what happened to the heart there? What happened to the heart, Owen? Did it get bigger or did it get smaller? Bigger. It got bigger. So when God's light shines through a mommy, it's even bigger. The love is even more. If your mom's love for you is the size of the heart, God's love is the size of the heart on the wall. By shining his love through your mom, you get to see what only, not only how bright and loving she is, but you get some idea of how God's love is all that much bigger. God's love may seem like a shadow here on the earth, but it is very real in heaven, and someday we'll get to see the hugeness of God's love face to face. In the meantime, we need to thank our moms today for loving you so much. She knows you need God, and bringing you to learn more about him is one of the most loving things a mom can do for you. So let's pray here. Let's go ahead. Dear God, thank you so much for sending moms to us to love us, and thank you for shining your light through our moms so that we can feel loved and we can see your love. Thank you for all of your many blessings and be with us the rest of the week. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Have a great week and don't forget to tell your moms, Happy Mother's Day.